opening of the restaurant out there. It's now called the 19th Hole. And with us today are the two co-owners of the 19th Hole restaurant, uh, Rick Aslan and Carl Bussett. Thanks for joining us today, gentlemen. Thanks, Ed. Thanks uh, for having us. Good to have you here. We'll start with Carl. Uh, this restaurant is very important to the city uh, because it's part of the golf course out there. It makes that whole golf experience uh, a, a great fun day. You go out, play around a golf, and you stop at the restaurant and uh, and have a meal or drink and just really top it off. So you guys are new. When did you open up? Uh, October 17th was our first day. Great. And it's going well so far? So far, so good. Everybody has been seems to be happy with, with the service, with the food. We're happy being there. We're having a lot of fun, and we're looking forward to expanding as right. we grow. You look at, uh, Rick, when you look at uh, golfers coming in, do you have specific foods that you think golfers are looking for? Is there a specific kind of style of thing that they're more interested in? Well, you, with me being a golfer, I did. I made the menu, or we made the menu to, to fit the golfing community. And, uh, and it's, it's golfer-friendly, it's family-friendly, and uh, we just wanted to try to get the whole community to be able to come out and help us support. So uh, you're a golfer yourself, so you get the best of both worlds. You get to work in this business that you know about, plus you're out around the golf course. Well, um, that's exactly right. We're out around the golf course. We haven't had a chance to play yet, <laughs> but uh, we're, we're working on that. You're busy doing some hard work. Yes, we are. Making the place Trying run. Trying to make it run right. That's maybe, right. Maybe one day you'll get to slip out for a round that's of golf. That's right. Eventually but right now uh, it's, it's the startup stages. Uh, we've been hearing some good feedback from people about the service and uh, a good polite staff who's prompt and, and ready to, uh, to make uh, people have a good experience. Uh, absolutely, they are uh, very attentive to families and to the golfers and to the city employees. Mr. Orvac has made a point to let us know when the employees come in, they have just so much time for lunch. So it's important that we get them their food, get them to check and get them back to work. I guess that's one of the tough things in restaurant business. Lunch hour is different probably than, than dinner hour because people are in that hurry and you got to yeah. really, you gotta yeah. really yeah. It's not really a lunch hour. <laughs> yeah, right, exactly. By the time they drive, get where they're going. Um, I know you're also, uh, the restaurant's open to anybody. It's not just for golfers, but people can come in from the neighborhood and, and just stop by. It's open to the public and uh, we want them to feel as if it's their country club. It's the city of Port St. Lucie's country club. Okay. Some other things you have out there. You have the Sandpiper Room. Uh, yes. Carl, this is uh, this is a rentable. People can rent this for a banquet of some kind. They can rent the room to do a banquet, and we also they can come to us to do an event from anything from weddings to uh, we did Gail Harrell's uh, campaign kickoff this year. We we did a big fundraiser for Boardwalk Johnny, who does entertainment for us every Friday night. Uh, we must have had over 250 people in there. Uh, throughout the course of the day. So uh, the room handles 132 without a dance floor, or about 110 with a dance floor. It's got a great view of the course, the water fountain. Um, mm. And we're booking parties now. Uh, Brittany Wood is our is sales director, and give her a call. She'll show you a wonderful package. And you can provide the catering services that come with the room rental. Absolutely. We have a banquet chef just for that. Michael Rogers is his name. Some of this food uh, th that you serve, uh, it's on your menu. Uh, we've got that online. You can go to the Saints Golf Course and look for a link uh, to that, and uh, people can find out what's on your menu. Mm -hmm. um, you're planning some other things. I know you, you've got some live entertainment uh, coming out there. Well, we've got uh, Boardwalk Johnny on Friday nights, and we're toying with the idea of having trivia each week, and then having jazz every other, and then... Um, and the third one would be pig roast and clam bakes on Saturdays. Great. So you've got a lot planned. There's a lot happening out there. We're going to have to bring you back in here to talk about it some more in the future. We just wanted to introduce you to the public and, uh, and let people know that you're open again for business. And you've got a good thing going. We're, getting, we're hearing some good things about it. Yeah, the food is good. People are enjoying their experience out there. And we want to get them out there. What's the phone number if somebody's interested in either uh, booking the Sandpiper Room or just finding out some more information? They can call Brittany Woods at 772-337-0180. Great. Carl Bussett, Rick Aslan of the uh, 19th Hall Restaurant out at the Saints. Thanks for joining us today. Uh, we'll hope to get you back here again and talk about it some more. Thank you. Yeah, really appreciate the time. Thanks for having us. Thank you. And we'll be right back after this quick message.